Hey everybody, I'm going to take a little hike today at Lapham Peak where I love to go the most and I am now trying a new action camera. It is the Osmo Action Pro 5 from DJI and I'm so excited to see what type of results we get today. I've never shot in 4K so this is going to be a fun time. We'll see you soon. What a windy day today. I think up here in the Midwest we're experiencing some of the hurricane from Hurricane Helene. It has been a very windy day. So I may not do a lot of talking on this hike just because I don't have a special microphone on to prevent the wind from breaking in. But let's see what the footage looks like. I'm excited to go on a hike with you guys. so funny taking a hike with this two meter extension rod in front of you. <laughs> that shoots at 2.5K or 2.4K, I can't remember what it is. And the footage I get is not as beautiful as I'd like to get. In the last video I edited about six weeks ago, when I took a hike here at Lapham Peak, it was downgraded to 720p. And I know why it did that, but it still did not look good and the refresh was not as great. DJI just came out with this new camera, Action 5 Pro, and I really like the Action 4 Pro, but this one has a really good nighttime mode on it, and it has a larger image sensor than even the GoPro. So I thought maybe it was time to try a real action camera, even though I love my Insta360 Go. It's so small and it's fun to play with, but if you can't get the image that you want in a video, it's not fun to record and edit and share with you. So <laughs> we're gonna see how well this one fares in an automatic setting, and I'm playing with it to kind of get used to its uniquenesses. So far, I'm liking it, but we won't know until we upload that footage on my Mac. Anyway, I wanted to share with you why I'm trying a new camera. So for those of you who are not familiar with Wisconsin, we have a driftless area called Kettle. And this is the Southwest Kettle, it's called Lapham Peak. It's also near Ottawa Lake, and it's a whole network of campgrounds, state forests. It's really beautiful. This is one of my favorite places because as you can see, the trails are very wide and easily marked. I love how the sun comes through the trees. But as you can see up ahead, <laughs> we have a little bit of an incline and I'm gonna say this is probably about a 30 to 40 foot incline that I'm about to <laughs> go up. I know I'll see you at the top. Probably because I was filming, <laughs> I missed the bypass. <laughs> and so I've gotta go down this hill and so I'm taking it easy getting down. And there's this kind of little footpath alongside the main trail that hopefully there's no poison ivy here. <laughs> So welcome to the wall at Lapham Peak. That is quite a climb, isn't it? Wow. So which trail do you think I should go next? 
<laughs> that's always the question here at Lapham Peak, which is the next trail? So that's why we have this lovely map here. I'm right here. So it looks like I want to continue this way here. That was the second person I saw back there that was on a cell phone on their hike. I guess I should talk, I'm on a camera. <laughs> well, it looks like we got more hills coming. The black trail is pretty rough. I'm transferring back to the blue trail pretty soon and the mosquitoes are definitely out. <laughs> So this is a special mode called Super Night Mode. I just want to see what the exposure looks like, if it's grainy or artifacting. And that's because I'm in the woods <laughs> and ready to drop down to another hill. <laughs> Every trail here feels like you're the king of the hill. <laughs> I have another wall to climb. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm a little out of shape for these hills. <laughs> wow. Well, you know I can do it. Holy cannoli. The rocks are pretty. They do help climbing the side of a small mountain. <laughs> they act as little grips for your shoes. I think I'm almost at the top. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a big climb again. Yay! <laughs> it's a great cardio workout. Look at the sun coming through all the pines. Look at this. Isn't this just heaven on earth? I'm out of the woods and in the prairie here in Wisconsin. Wildflowers here are pretty much on its way out. So the butterfly garden is gonna be kind of the same way, but it's still fun to go to. Hello fall. But this is the butterfly garden. And this is super night mode because it's a little bit darker here. Oh, look at the bees, you guys. Unfortunately, there are no butterflies now. Except for that guy. <laughs> And there's my dad. He's right next to a little stone path. It wasn't planned that way. It just worked out that way. I see pumpkins. By the way, you guys, it's September 28th.
Well, that's the butterfly garden here at Lapham Peak. <laughs> and I love the pumpkins over here. So cute. That's going back into the woods. And that's going back to my car. <laughs> Still about three quarters of a mile or a half a mile. One of the nice things about Lapham Peak is that there is a 1.75 mile paved trail here. So in the winter time when it's icy and there's cross country skiing going on, you can still come out here and take a hike. Or for people that don't like to walk on stones, I know when my plantar fasciitis acts up, it's not fun. <laughs> so it's nice to have a paved trail as an option. And this is standard video mode. This is standard video mode. I'm switching between super night and standard just to see when I need to take advantage of the low light feature. I was watching some videos on YouTube and they were using super night mode in woods shots and I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. This is a test roll. Remember everybody, keep sharing kindness. It's how we keep taking care of each other. I hope to see you on my next one. Bye for now. Once again, thank you for watching. Check out some of my other YouTube videos on my channel, The Quilting Camper. See you really soon.